Hello everyone, this is Zayda Qolami from Agrimat Soft Research Company and I'm here to teach you how to draw contour lines um, using ArcGIS. So first things first, you need to have an Excel file uh, showing UTMX and showing UTMX and UTMY and then the um, elevation of the ground or whatever else you want to draw contour lines for. I want to draw contour lines for head. So here I have um, head elevation, water head elevation, which is this column. So the next step is to convert this file to DBF. If you can open it uh, using art map you're fine to go but for me I always should convert this file to DBF in order to um, be able to work with it so first I just uh, convert it to DBF this is my DBF file and then I will open it in art map so I will show you how This is my file. And then in order to have these um, you know points in the display frame, you want to right click on it and then click display XY data. Here you should choose uh, which field is for X and which field is for Y. So you can see that by default it can uh, recognize them, so that's okay. And here for the coordinate system, you should define its coordinate system. It cannot recognize, so I will just um, select my coordinate system and then click OK. Then you have all your points in your display frame. So if I go to attribute table, I can see um, every columns I had in my Excel file. So uh, the elevation of the ground and then the um, distance from the ground to the water and then the water head. So that's it. Here, the first command you need to run in order to have the contour lines is the topo to raster command. So I just go to the search um, area and then type topo to raster. So then you can see that uh, here is topo to raster spatial analyst. By the way, something I forgot to say is that for using the spatial analyst tools, you need to enable them first. Uh, so for this, um, this thing, you should go to customize and then extensions. And then click on Spatial Analyst box. So I have enabled already. So this is, you know, this have a tag. So that's it. Close. Okay. Search and topo to raster Spatial Analyst. This is the command. Here you want to open your... Um, points, your points layer. Then here, this field should be the water elevation. Okay, um, it should be the uh, water head or the, uh, you know, ground elevation or whatever you want to uh, draw control lines for. So this is my water head and the type here is um, point elevation, okay? Then I want to have just one um, output. 
uh, space. So I just go to um, here. I make a folder named test and then again test and I save it. So you don't need to change any other settings. I just click OK. So that's the raster made and then you need to go again to the search box to type surface. Uh, we use surface tool set here in order to make the contour lines. Here you can see contour spatial analyst. It wants the raster so that's why we made this raster out of the point uh, layer. So that's your test raster and then you need to give it another um, output uh, location. And then you want to have contour interval. So I put it on 10 in order to have my contour lines. So then click OK. And that's your contour lines. You can see they are very like they are not that much close to, to each other. If you want your contour lines very detailed, right? More than that, you can uh, just um, make your interval um, smaller. So I will show you how you just. Um, Put in contour interval number five, for example, and click OK. And you can see your contour lines are more detailed right now. So another thing I want to show you here is to how to label your contour lines. You don't know which which um, points with which elevations are these lines connecting you know you don't know that so because of that I will go to properties and then in labels um, for label field you want the contour okay apply and OK and then right click on your layer again and click on label features so then you can see the uh, contour uh, labels contour uh, numbers and they are shown here so that's it for today's video and I hope you all learned something new Please don't forget to give, give this video a thumb up and uh, subscribe to Agromatsoft channel. And I will see you in the next video and bye.